question. Hello, everyone. So I filed paperwork regarding all three of my cases and have it tagged from Lisa Clark and have it for just a court stamp on it. Let me see a stamp. Right there. Okay. Which, this is a statement of facts that's a four page letter. That I laid out the whole truth of everything. So. Read it. No, you want me to read it? Yes. That's a lot mm -hmm. of reading. I don't give a shit. Read it so people understand <laughs> why it was sent and they have it in okay. court documents okay. that they refuse to actually acknowledge as these exist. Okay. It says Hello, my name is Lindsay Ray Landry Hoyt. My birthday is May 23rd, 1981. I was born in Lewistown, Montana. I have two children. Destiny Ray Carranza, August 12, 2003. Madison Lee Fasuga, July 23, 2016. CPS first walked into my life, 3 11 16. Christina Mix came to my home and wanted me to drug test. When, or of, because of my size, she judged me and thought I was using drugs. So I took a UA and at DSI and no drugs were found. So April 7, 2016, they sent me a letter stating that the case was closed. Kathleen Stewart was her supervisor. So fast forward this, and I even have that on this, I filed it in all three courts because they need to know the truth. Like, my lawyers don't tell them anything like that and I need to, shit's whatever. Yeah. So, um, to January 12th, 2019, Mary Fortune Blair had a case with Shai Peterson, parentheses, Destiny's friend. That day, Mary was pressing Destiny for things and told Destiny that she could stay with her boyfriend until further notice. And her being 15 and then he's 17. Mary, as CPS worker, lied or led my daughter, Destiny, to stay with her 17-year-old boyfriend. Destiny, at the time, lost her virginity, got hands put on her. That was June 12, 2019. The Mary CPS told my daughter to stay with her boyfriend. The first time that she ever tried to call me was January 24, 2019, when she left a voice message or message on a phone that she had no idea how certain whose it was. February 4th, 2019, my older daughter called the cops to on me and said that I had drugs. James Copa tested it at my home and it wasn't a drug, it tested non-narcotic. James, badge number 530, and Mary Fortune Blair changed that non-narcotic substance to presume positive crack, which that was false reports that gave CPS to file for Madison Fusuga. I placed Madison in the care of my mother with a POA, power of attorney, February 5th, 2000, 2019. I got caught in the mouth. <laughs> Shit sucks. Um, February 5th, 2019. That's when I put her in the care of my mother. I have um, recordings of Mary Fortune Blair calling me February 14th, and stating that she needed a copy, R, and, I don't know, proof of the power of attorney. So I sent her one Viva text message on February 15th, 2019. And she called me instantaneously and told me that she was filing for Madison. That's after she saw the fact that you did not have custody of your child. Yeah. And yet, still valid, they went and got it for your grandmother 500 miles away. Yep. Hmm. So, which CPS wrongfully took my child from my mother, March 13, 2019. My show cause hearing wasn't until May 8, 2019, which Mary and James both took the stand and lied that I was a drug user and a liar based on the substance that there was tested on February 4, 2019, where they changed that non-narcotic substance into presumed positive crack. False Claims Act. And that's what I have right written there. <laughs> Go on to the letter you sent to... Uh... Okay, and then, then I get a charge for pr 
pro or possession of meth in my mailbox. I go to court for the very first time and it changes to meth opiates. I go to court for the second time and it changes to cocaine. Four months later, tested in a lab, non-narcotic, and charges are dropped, but all over the place, slander. The independent record, when all it was tested by James, or James 530, non-narcotic, February 4th, 2019. James is stalking me, and many times at the gas stations, at the court building. In 2020, he was waiting in the dark in the private property of KOA, and I was moving a car on private property, and then he goes and turns his lights on and pulls me over. It's my brother's car, and I'm working on getting a title. I've never drove on public roads, and James is stalking me. And that's what I wrote. And so that's what stirred up this warrant. <sighs> because now I didn't get a charge, but now I have a warrant. Uh -huh. Which I will go on Monday, and it's overly excessive. <laughs> $20,000 bond for an illegal charge on her that she did not commit right. while she was in jail. Go figure. And what about the letter you sent to, uh, oh. cover your address? Uh, I don't care. You can all come see me. <laughs> she sent that to Ann Penner for certified mail. And she refused to accept it and return it to her. So now it's got to be posted in um, the independent record. Because that has to be, like, a public document now. What was the letter in... And she did not open it when it got returned to her. It's still closed. No. It's yeah. A, so she's showing the back of it. Uh, oh, well, it was, yeah, it was closed right thing. But the thing is, what does the letter state? Shh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a cease and desist for her slandering me and... Patient, you tell her back off and leave her alone and live her own Pat, life. Uh, Scooby, <laughs> so, back off from the dog. I got all these charges to begin with, and then she's the one that charged me with endangering the welfare of a child because my daughter supposedly came up positive with methamphetamines in her system, which is ridiculous because... It's not true. I've asked for DNA tests. She's asked, no, it wasn't DNA test. She asked for well, no. validating test that shows yeah. that she went to the medical that it was field. That her daughter. Yeah. Or that my daughter. It was her daughter. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just, it's gotten out of hand, out of control, and we need people to stand up for this family and for many other families that are being falsely incarcerated, mentally, physically, consciously. I mean, it's just out of control. So. Yeah, for a charge I wouldn't serve. For charges that never happened. Mm -hmm. And they sit there and mock you and laugh at you in court. It's ridiculous. Many eyewitnesses, including Rodney Garcia.